Hi, I'm Karen, and I'm volunteering for AHC as part of the Chamber of Commerce Volunteer Day in Arlington. Welcome to Tuesday Tales. Today, I'm going to read you Birdie's Big Girl Hair by Sujean Ritten. Every morning when Birdie woke up, she hugged her dog, Monster, and then jumped out of bed. That's Birdie. That's Monster. Birdie liked to start her day with stretches. She brushed her teeth and then her hair. See, there she is getting ready. But today, Birdie's hair seemed extra unruly. It was standing up, crooked where it should have been sitting down straight. It had tangles and fuzzballs where it should have been silky and smooth. See, she's having trouble with her hair. Before Birdie could brush it out, she smelled something yummy, yummy coming from the kitchen. Yay! Mommy was making breakfast. Good morning, Mommy, cheered Birdie. Ooh, strawberry pancakes, my favorite. Oh, sweetheart, Mommy gasped. Your hair has gotten so long. I think it might be time for us to go to the hair salon. Birdie clapped with delight and pictured herself with a big girl hairdo. Mommy, she asked, can I look for some new hairstyle ideas? Mommy smiled at Birdie's eager face. Absolutely. And if you find a picture of something that's just right, we'll bring it to uh, with us to the salon. See, there's Birdie imagining herself with a pretty new hair. She imagined herself with each glamorous hairstyle. A chic, classic chignon, see, up like that. Flowing, feathery flips. A bold, blunt bob with bangs. Nothing felt quite right. all the different hairstyles. Later that day, Birdie went to the park to play with her best friends. They had some haircut ideas. How about a bun, like a ballerina, said Coca. What about spikes, like a rock star, suggested Eve. Or braids, like a galactic princess, said Charlie. But Birdie still couldn't decide. Back home, Birdie worried she'd never find the right hairdo. Then suddenly she discovered a book she'd never seen before. Mommy's high school yearbook. Oh, <gasps> monster, look at Mommy and her gorgeous hair. See, there she is. Birdie had finally found the hairstyle of her dreams and was ready to go to the salon. Birdie felt so special. She put on a silky robe and got shampooed, conditioned, and combed and trimmed. And then she was brushed, blown out, and curled. See, there she is in her robe. Here she is getting her hair cut. There she is sitting under the dryer with curlers. Here she is getting shampooed. And there's her mommy and monster waiting for her. Oh, look how pretty she looks. When her hairdo was finally finished, she looked in the mirror and oh my. 
Birdie felt so luxurious. She felt so shiny. She felt so full of bounce. Birdie couldn't wait to go to the park and show her friends her new hairdo. Wow, Birdie, your hair looks fantastic. Birdie was so happy, she flew sky high on the swings. She ran super fast through playing tag and she seesawed like never before. See, there's the swing, the tag, the seesaw. She was having such a good time that she didn't realize her new hairdo had lost its quaff. Oh no, now it's all straight again. Birdie was heartbroken. My hairdo is all messed up, Mommy, she cried. It doesn't look like yours anymore. Mommy knelt down and looked right into Birdie's eyes. But my beautiful birdie, now it's even better because it looks like you. That night, birdie brushed her teeth and then her hair. Mommy read her a book and kissed her good night. Then birdie hugged Monster and dreamed of <sighs> strawberry pancakes, her favorite. And there she is having a nice dream of strawberry pancakes. The end. Thanks for joining us for Tuesday Tales. You can look for another story next week or subscribe to AHC's channel using the red button below. Bye.